everyone, welcome back to another video. This week I have a story time for you. I just caught my thumb in the tripod and I think I'm getting a blood blister. So, let's start with a bit of context. My biggest fear, if you ask me my biggest fear, it's rats. It has been since I was about eight or nine because I saw on this program this rat and it was like five stone and they found it in a bed when they were cleaning this house and, and ever since I've just been terrified and that was when I was about eight. So rats are my biggest fear, like, oh, I hate them. I can't even go into pets at home without like stressing out. I can't go near them. I can't look at them on the TV. There's going to be no pictures because I can't insert them. I can't look. Oh, I absolutely hate them. One time someone found a sausage in guides and thought it was rat poo and I cried. That's how scared I am. I'm very scared of rats. They are my biggest fear. I hate them with a passion. Oh, so um, this is why this was not the best person for this to happen to. So, so that's all before any of this happened, any of said situation happened. And then in year nine, April, it was a Monday morning. And on Monday mornings, I would take my dad to the train station, which was quite a while away and then um, drive back and my mum would drop me off at school. So I'd have to wake up at six, um, which I do now anyway, but at the time I didn't do that every day, just on Monday mornings. So, so I woke up and I walked into the bathroom, I went to the loo, I washed my hands, I started getting changed because I always get dressed in the bathroom. So I was getting changed and I was just buttoning up my shirt because I was putting my uniform on and I heard like a blub blub from the toilet and I was like, Phew. What is that? So I lean over and I was like, oh, and then I thought it was a poo in the toilet that somebody had left. And I was like, oh, and then um, it moved and it ran up the toilet and it was a rat. And it was honestly, oh, it was, I just remember seeing the ears and realizing what it was. I was like screaming. And uh, this was six in the morning and my brothers didn't wake up that early. So they were just, I woke everybody up. Everybody heard me just screaming, running through the house, running to the front door. And this is something not many people know about me, but I have a really manly scream. Like my actual scream is like, ah! So <laughs> I was like running through the house like, ah! And I was just running and running and I ran to the front door and I was trying to get out the front door. And then my mum pulled me back and it was like all a haze. I don't even remember it. I couldn't breathe. I was just like, ah! And I was just screaming non-stop. So obviously I woke Matthew up. So Matthew came downstairs and then um, I had to sit in the dining room with Matthew whilst he tried to calm me down because I was like terrified because they were my biggest fear. And I saw one in my bathroom and it was so scary. And I was so scared. So Matthew was like um, trying to calm me down and I was just crying and screaming. And then my parents were like going to see what it was doing um, and my dad said he walked in it's what my dad said my dad said he scared it away because the rat took one look at my dad and ran away so um, it just went back through the toilet so yeah it was really scary and then I carried on with my day I went to drop my dad off at the station and then I went to school and a teacher was asking me if I looked all right because I looked ill and I was like a rat came up my toilet I was like still scarred um, and I remember I needed the toilet at lunchtime in school and it like took me like a lot of building up of courage to go. I, I went to the upstairs toilet so that I didn't think it would be able to go upstairs in the drain and I was like really worried. And um, yeah, that is my scary story of a rat coming up my toilet. Um, it, I was definitely the worst person for it to happen to because I hate them like, ooh. They just, so then whilst I was in school, they got the pest control in and all this, yada, yada. And um, yeah, it got sorted. But it took me a couple of months for me to use that bathroom again. And yeah, it was quite, a, I, for like a year, I flushed the chain before I went to the toilet. And I like kept my eyes on the toilet just to make sure like for a good year it took me, to get over that like it was a pretty scary time and the funny thing is like I had this priest a few years ago and he told m my brother about a dead rat in the toilet and my brother had told me about it and I was scared and I'd cried when my brother told me that 
So I'd said to my mum in the past, like, mum, I'm scared of a rat being in the toilet. And she was like, there's not going to be a rat in the toilet. There's no rat in this house. Now they take me seriously when I voice my concerns because it happened. So, yeah, that's a fun little story for y'all. And if anybody tells you it can't happen, it can. Rats can walk in drains. I absolutely hate them. At this time, this actually helped my fear because before this happened, I couldn't even say the word rat. Like, ask anybody that knew me at that time. I called it a backward star, because if you put the words backwards, it's a backward star. Like, only after this event could I say the word rat, because I said it so many times when I was screaming. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't judge me on it. My house isn't that bad. It's because we are having building work done. Um, and don't forget to comment down below what videos you want to see, or if this has ever happened to you, or if you had ever had an experience. Um, don't make it too scary because I really hate rats and I don't want to read any more about them. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Bye.